Today we have two objectives in Valheim. First objective is to take three dragon eggs and transport them from the mountain all the way back to the ship. But we will have to go three times because we won't be able to carry three dragon eggs at the same time because they are quite heavy. Thankfully I was able to gather enough coins in order to get us a new build. Which will increase our total carry weight by 150. We'll just leave the wishbone here just in case we die on the mountain so we don't have to do bone mass boss again. I mean if you saw the previous video you know how hard he is. And of course I did miss the jump from the ship so we now have the wet debuff my stamina just love it oh hey uh, oh okay relax aggressive little fella right so our first dragon egg lies between the edge of the fake black forest and the meadow so i think that would be the easiest one and i can already hear wolves let's pop the frost resistance meat then we'll be very careful because we don't like wolves and of course, the moment we leave the Black Forest, it starts to rain, so we just managed in time to get the wet deep off once again before we enter the mountain. Damn you, Wellheim. Oh, I see a wolf. Get the bow, he hasn't seen me. Oh, he has seen me. Never mind. Come on, step, step, step. I can hear another one. Wasn't there another wolf? Gotta be another wolf over here. I heard something. Wolfie. I'm pretty sure I saw a wolf up here. Oh, I heard a wolf even. Oh, I can hear a wolf. They don't always make noise, but at least when they do, you know roughly where they are. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolf. 270 damage. Nice. We can definitely feel that the, our archery skills has increased. Not in terms of accuracy, but in terms of damage. No wolves right here. Let's just mark it so we know where to go. Oh, I remember. It's where the drakes were. I mean, we are looking for a nest, so of course there'll be drakes. Which is a good thing, because then we can also get more materials for the frost arrows. Let's go up here. I knew it! One down, but where there is one wolf, there are usually more. click on the egg and hopefully we'll be able to carry it yes we can all right 335 weight let's jump up here where it's relatively safe relatively safe and then we'll just take a look the egg's total weight is 200 yeah we definitely cannot carry another one so now we'll just head back to the ship and then we'll come back to get another egg. Okay, that was the first dragon egg. Now we just need two more. And I guess I will be carrying a little bit of wood and stone with me so we can make a campfire. Because looking at the sky here, I'm kind of thinking that we'll have the wet buff once we enter the mountain again. And making the campfire, we can make the wet debuff go away. And we can also give ourselves the rested bonus. I think it's only eight minutes since it's the comfort one. But I mean, eight minutes of rested is better than nothing. Oh, great. And now it's a storm too. I really do not hope that the mountain also has a snowstorm because then we won't be able to see anything and the wolves will just be able to kill us from any position, really. And we'll probably have to go into the mountain a little bit before we can make the campfire due to the heavy wind. And I also see two wolves in front of me, which is not good. I mean, thankfully I saw them, but... Okay, this guy is definitely determined. Oh, never mind, he forgot about me. Apparently. I guess we have skeletons, which I don't really care about. I mean, we are running around with the root armor, so it's not the strongest or the heaviest armor. But it's definitely something that will allow us to move around more quickly. Okay, at least there is no storm here. But it is turning nighttime, and the mountain is very bad doing nighttime. Oh, hey! Hi, Poopus! Take stun him with two attacks. Guess we'll do the special. Yeah, we are taking a little bit of damage from a regular skeleton, so... Just imagine if a wolf with two stars hit us. Instant death. Can we sit down now? Is it okay? Now my gut feeling tells me that I should probably go back into the black forest. Make a little bit of house so I can sleep. But at the same time, what's the point of hardcore if you don't want to accept the challenge? Oh yeah, and I also really, really want the Fenrir gear. So I can equip myself with a set item that will allow us to move even faster. So yeah, we'll probably have to hunt for the bigger wolves. Oh, we have wolves. One dead. Do we have another? Just in case no one is moving up on our side. 
I mean, I can hear more wolves, so I know there is another somewhere. There's a dragon nest over... What is it with this area? Like, it's crazy. Oh, speaking of the Fenrir thingy, there he is. Okay, let's just wait for a second. Just want to make sure that he's the only enemy that we have. But I mean, let's try, right? Please hit him. Oh, he didn't die from that. Okay, I'm... Okay, he died. He died. Good. We can kill them. They are killable. As long as we get the first hit. I mean, if they get the first hit in, we die anyway, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can hear the wolf, but I cannot see it, which is really, really alarming. Because I do not know exactly where it is. Is it behind the rock over there? I think it's behind the cliffs. And these guys can just spawn out of nowhere, so... You are not really safe at any point. Oh, I see the wolf. Let's charge up the attack. Wait for him to look. Oh, shit. There we go. Good. We, we want to kill them when they do not know where we are. So we can get the bonus damage. Seriously, the amount of wolf that spawn during the nighttime on the mountain is insane. At least in this area, because they just keep spawning. Let's see here. Yeah, 11 wolf pills, 13 wolf meat. And we only got three fangs, but I mean, it has a lower drop chance, so it's okay. But behind this rock here, there's a black wolf, a Fenrir wolf. But I'm not sure since it's beginning to return to daytime if he's still there. But I mean, we'll I guess we'll have to, ch to check, right? Is he there? No? I guess the daytime did make him despawn. Thank God, because I have no idea how to get away from there. Oh well, the journey must go on. I'm pretty sure over here that we've already collected the dragon egg. Yeah, we have. At least they haven't spawned anything. Oh, we have a corpse over there. Is it safe to look at the map from here? Maybe I should go... Yeah, okay, let's go over here and then look at the map. I guess I'll make a campfire as well and then sit down. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the rest of the buff without getting assaulted by wolves. Oh, I can hear dragon noises from the left. Maybe there's a nest over there. I'm not sure where, I'm, where am I actually aiming. Oh, there should be a dragon egg nearby campfire and equip the pole arm because every time I find myself in trouble against wolves it's when I, I have my bow equipped and I cannot change it because then my character will slow down the wolf will catch up to me and I'll die speaking of death we have a dragon right here we definitely need to kill that guy I guess since it, it I mean it's a frost dragon but still we'll be able to one shot them with the frost arrow good I'm not complaining oh we have another one Will it kill him? Yeah. Maybe I should just hit them with the fire arrows because then they won't die immediately. They'll move towards me and when they die in their momentum, the loop will come to me, hopefully. Okay, we have another dragon egg here. I can't pick it up. Oh yeah, I can. Good, good, good. Do I care about the loot? We have so much frost gland already. I guess it didn't drop anything regardless. Okay. Let's return back to the ship and then we'll go for the last dragon egg. We just need to find another egg in order to have the materials required to summon Mordor. And after we have gathered the last egg, we will go back to this silver vein over here. Now, once we finally get our hands on some silver, I am not going to craft the entire wolf pelt armor set. However, I will make the cloak because that one will give us some frost resistance. And I think it also stacks with the frost resistance meat, which will be very useful against Mordor. And with the rest of the silver, I guess I'll just make the bow and also some other useful stuff if we can afford it. Let's make a campfire before we go up to the mountain and then we'll sit down. I don't hear any wolves. And I feel like this is one of the most vulnerable spots to be in right now, especially on hardcore, because it takes a little bit of time to get up here. A few seconds for the mobs to get closer or even kill us. We should be quite close to a nest right now and it's a good sign that we can see a dragon because at least we haven't been here, I think. They do spawn quite faster than the eggs, but I mean, let's not give up hope. I mean, we have definitely not been going up this side of the mountain, so I'm hoping that the egg up here is not one of the, those that we have collected. Oh, that's one of the... Oh, is that a house? Oh, we don't like houses on the mountain because that's usually wolf territory. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's a golem. Okay, we are definitely not going to attack the... Okay, so apparently there was a wolf up there. Thank you, Mr. Golem. I kind of want to collect the obsidian over there, but we don't have the mining pick with us, so it is what it is. We do have enough obsidian to make a few more frost arrows, so it's okay. 
Okay, so the egg is over here. Are we able to sneak around him without him noticing us? I guess we can just skip him altogether because the egg is actually down here and not up there. I see the nest, but I can also hear a I can also see a wolf. Please be alone. I don't want to fight multiple of you. Back to the pole arm. No wolves right here. I can hear them. Which is annoying when you can hear them, but you don't know where they are because suddenly they can just be right behind you. Don't completely trust the sound here on the mountain. Just use the sound to verify that something is definitely there. Sounds like they're down there and I can hear more than one. So this is not good. I can see one wolf. One down, one more to go. But let's not worry about that one. Let's just collect the egg and get the heck out of here. Hey, we got the egg. Let's go. Guess we can just go back to the black forest and then we'll take the, the a little bit longer route, but at least we'll avoid the wolves. And the golem. Now that we have acquired the third egg, we can finally go for some silver. Let's just equip the pickaxe. And we don't really need the wishbow. Because we have already marked two possible locations of where we can find silver. And we are just going to avoid the mountain area as much as possible. So we are going to follow the trail up north here. And then from the black forest we will enter the mountain area to where the silver vein is. And I don't really want to lose both my belt and my wishbone. So we are just going to leave the wishbone here and hopefully the mark that I've placed was correct. So we did manage to find the vein but there was a stone golem. So I lured him all the way down to the black forest so a bunch of skeletons could fight him while we were up here. So now that we have the rested buff refreshed, we can now finally go down and mine some silver. Hopefully. Now the problem is I cannot repair the pickaxe up here. I should have probably made a force or something up here, but at the ship I did manage to build a house with a small forge. So we'll have to go back and forth regardless with the silver. And that's I guess when we will repair. Now I have digged a little bit. I've tried to free a little bit of the silver vein. And hopefully once we've removed the dirt, everything will go explode and we don't have to hit the silver vein at all. But things rarely go as I planned it, so let's see how it goes. Oh, I can hear something. Oh my god! Okay, okay. I thought I heard some flapping. Get hit. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Hit your... Why won't you change your weapon? I... Damn, what's going on? Come on. Yeah, there we go. One more hit should do it. There we go. Okay, so the drakes can definitely hear when we are mining. So I guess we'll have to look around right now just to see if any wolf has come closer than they were before. I think this is the smallest silver vein I've ever found in Valheim. But I hope this will be enough for the bow and probably also the wolf cape. Oh my god. Oh. Damn, the respawns are crazy in <laughs> over here. Okay, there we go. One hit. Let's eat some tasty meat so we can get some stamina. I don't want to take a hit from those frost bolts because I have no idea how much damage I take. I mean, it's magic, I think, so my armor shouldn't do anything. So I guess we will rely on the frost resistance meat. Oh, speaking of damage, we have a wolf. We had a wolf. Let's just make sure we don't meet any other wolves right now. I don't want to go down in that hole and then suddenly a wolf appear because we will have nowhere to go. I mean, it should disappear soon because I think it's only connected with this one. Oh, it's still connected to this rock over here. We have another drake nearby. I am not taking any chances. We might as well just kill it while we can see it. And it hasn't spotted us. Okay, it's free now, right? Nothing is touching anything. Let's just lower this a little bit. There we go. Is this one touching the ground? No? Okay. Now, if I remove just a little piece of it, it should explode completely so I don't have to mine everything. Let's just hope that's the case. There we go. At least some of it exploded. Maybe more will explode soon. I don't know. It's weird that it hasn't completely exploded yet. I thought once you cleared it, everything would just go boom. Sometimes I need to do a little bit of damage before it happened, but... 
it seems this one is a stopping one. All right, let's go back with the amount of silver that we have so far. Now, since we had to restock on our supplies, I pretty much just ran all the way home to our main base. And since it's currently nighttime, let's just run back to the camp so we can sleep from the camp. Instead of sleeping at the main base, spend the day running to the outpost and then back to the mountain. So we are missing like half the day just running instead of farming. Oh, I see the outpost. Now it's time to sleep and hopefully the storm will disappear and we won't have a snowstorm on the mountain. And of course it is Valheim, so the fire is of course out of fuel. But thankfully we have a little bit of wood, so let's just ignite them again. Wait, why didn't you work? Oh, there we go. It must be a Monday. And then we'll go back to the silver vein and collect some more silver. And hopefully the silver vein has now exploded. I don't know how it works because sometimes it just works and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's too close to the ground. I don't know, but we'll try and figure it out. <gasps> oh my god, that's a troll. Holy, oh my god. Okay, let's use the frost arrows. How is it that the biggest creatures always manage to get up close like that without me noticing? He has seen me, or at least he has heard me, but he's... I don't think he's in combat thingy. Nope, we did get the attack buff or the surprise buff. How many times do I need to hit you? That was five arrows, I think. Oh, there we go. We'll just ditch the troll trophy because we don't need that. Oh no, I should have lowered the troll all the way over to the stone golem. Oh well, I guess we'll find another troll for our amusement when we get to it. Oh guys, okay, can you please stop attacking me? It is very annoying. Now you saw what I did, right? You saw what I did. Okay, I guess you don't care. So about the troll and the stone golem. We have found another troll and I think we are also nearby the stone golem. So I have an idea. Come with me, Mr. Troll. Let's hope that the stone golem is still over here somewhere. Oh, come on, don't, don't be that guy. I don't want to damage him because I want him to have a fair fight. Except that this guy has not equipped a stick. So he's not as powerful as he could have been. Because the stone golem is very strong against Pierce. But I think the giant stick is a blunt weapon. At least that would I, I would assume is a blunt weapon. Okay, he's a little bit deeper in here the last time I saw him. So let's hope. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> don't waste all my stamina. I mean, we're not even in the Black Forest. He was in the Black Forest. He was in the fake part of the Black Forest, but a Black Forest nonetheless. And this is the Meadows. So maybe I've lured him a bit too far away. Not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there should be skeletons nearby where the golem was. Okay. We can definitely see the aftermath of the golem. So maybe he's still here somewhere. Come on, golem, please. Don't have a lift yet. It'll probably run back to... Oh, no, I see him, I see him. There he is. A challenger has emerged. Will it be the golem or the troll? Unless they're not fighting each other, and then I'll have to fight both. Okay, he has definitely seen me. Let's do this. Come on, titans, attack. No, no, no. Attack each other. Don't attack me. Oh, God, they, they're not attacking each other. Why are you not attacking each other? This guy is aggressive against everything. Like, he he will kill everything. At least if it's a skeleton. Are they on the same team? That That's not okay. Okay, okay. We'll have to kill the troll. And then we'll kill the golem afterwards. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to mess with the ranger. Especially because I can just slow you. The frost arrows, how effective are they? Come on. Come on, mister. I mean, it slows him down a little bit, but it's nothing special. Okay. Guys, you just lost your tank. What are you going to do about it? I mean, I do admire your bravery, but... Is it brave when it's just stupidity? Can it be both? We won't keep the troll hide because the weight is just too much, but I guess we'll keep the coins. I don't want to spend my entire day running back and forth just because I keep picking up other stuff that is not silver. Dude, no, don't go up there. It's my dick side. 
Oh, damn, this golem. I'm not sure what I can do against the golem, except for going ranged on hardcore, because otherwise I would have to use a mace, because this guy doesn't like blunt weapons. He's kind of like the skeletons. Oh, yeah, go, go, dragon, go. Defeat my enemy. Nice, go. Awesome. Okay, let's work together and defeat this enemy. Good work, dragon. He didn't lose any health, but, I mean, everything counts, right? Where is he? Where is he? He's over here. Good work, Draken! Don't feel rested anymore. No, I, I don't feel rested. Okay, nice. We gotta hit him. Come on, Draken. Where's my backup? No? No air support? Okay. We, we, I guess the, the foot soldier will go down the mountain again. Nice. Looks like we have our air support again. Okay, good. Good. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't worry, Mr. Drake. I got your back. Literally. Nice. We got him there. Come on. Come on, Drake. Attack him. Why are you flying away? I'm helping. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Me and you, buddy. Me and you. Eat another tasty meat so we can get some stamina. I don't want to get too close to the Drake because then he'll attack me and I do not want to... You killed my friend! There we go. Yeah, come with me. Oh, he is surprisingly fast. What <laughs> What happened? Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I get it, I get it. Let's eat. We only have two left. We'll have to be careful. I mean, we still have the minor stamina thingy, but... I mean, yeah. Oh! I'll have to defeat you. Right here, right now. Not doing that much damage since it's only piercing attack I'm doing, but it is what it is. Thankfully, we have a lot of arrows. I should have made some wooden arrows because at this point, I guess they are more effective. Because this guy is not catching on fire. And the base damage on the fire arrow is not so good. I mean, we are getting bow skills, so I guess that's a good thing. And that could have been my head right there. Less than half health, I like. You are so fast. I keep forgetting on hardcore enemies are also moving faster than usual. Did you attack that guy? Please tell me you attacked that guy and not me. I need some false sense of security. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nope. Just want to point out that this fight is more challenging than the bone mass boss. At least this guy doesn't bow down to trees. Okay, let's see. Does the fire actually do any damage to him? Nope. He's like, nope, I'm not going to fall for that. Okay, now that he is not attacking me, I guess I'll kill his minions. One down. Two down. Oh, don't worry, I have not forgotten about you. I'll get you. Then we'll kill this guy. Oh, hey, skeleton that just spawned right in front of me. It's a skeleton, of course. They'll always attack. Okay, come with me, my friend. I need you. Sorry for hitting you. We are going on a hunt. We need to destroy a golem. And I see him up there. Come on, hit him. Get his attention. Good. Come on, skeleton. You and I, we can do this, buddy. Are you coming? Yep, yeah, nice. There we go. Okay, I'll run. I'll leave you to it. You tank him. I'll do the damage. Good work. Okay, I... Man, it's hard finding help these days. What's my... Okay, 46 fire arrows left. We can easily do this. Or definitely do this even. I don't want to say easy, because then Valheim throws stuff in my face every time I mention the word easy. Not lose all my stamina. He's faster than I am. Just like the troll. I mean, he's a little bit slower than a troll, but he's still faster than I am, so he will, will inevitably catch up. Unless he dies. Okay, guys. What are you going to do now, huh? Come on, what are you going to do now? You're going to die like dummies? Yep, you're going to die like dummies. I wonder what we unlock. I guess we'll get the crystal wall and maybe the axe, yeah? Or do I need the silver? I guess I need the silver. I guess this is the entire silver vein. Now we just need to transport it all the way back to the ship. Let's remove the stone and the wood. 
the meat. We don't really need the wolf fangs. We have so many of them, at least right now. Otherwise, we can always go back if we are in that much of a need. Now that we have returned all the silver back to the ship, it looks like it could have been a much better vein, but then again, it wasn't so big, so this was to be expected. On the plus side, however, there is a fish that has been beached on our boat. So let's return home with all the silver that we acquired, and hopefully we'll be able to make the bow and a cape. If we have any leftover silver, then I guess we'll just have to see what we can upgrade with our crafting stations. It's actually not that far. It's literally behind those trees, so yeah, I guess we could have used the cart, but then again, the cart is quite annoying to move around with, especially when it's so hilly. Alright, let's park the ship here, and then we'll go smell some silver. Ooh, too much. No, is this perfect? Yeah, this is perfect. And then we'll just use the cart here, because we have an almost level ground here in the base, and it is so much easier just transport all the silver at once, instead of having to slowly move forward as we're carrying too much can i hit oh yeah okay okay this is good no that was not good oh god why did it work the first time and not the okay i have to be moving in order to do this but the problem is will i be able to get the other silver that is far down on the floor here you're carrying too much okay can i get up here no we need to add another set of stairs otherwise this is kind of useless so I'll try and stand up here, and then I'll get to the storage. We do have the dragon eggs. Can I just do all of this? Just equip everything? Okay. And then we'll go overboard. We'll swim. Thankfully, we can still swim while being over-encumbered. Right, I think that was all the silver. Now we just need the dragon eggs. Oh. Just imagine we have to transport them again. I should probably just leave them on the boat. Because we need the boat to transport them to the dragon altar. Or at least as close as we can. But for now, just in case we lose the boat somewhere crazy in the middle of the ocean. We can just keep them safe here in our base. And where would be more safe for three eggs than next to a kitchen? I decided to pick up a silver bar just to see what we unlocked and we did get a new armor set which we are not going to craft because again it has a higher armor value, it has a higher durability but it also reduces our movement speed and I don't want to reduce our movement speed too much. We also unlocked a new shield, some weapons. The silver sword is very sexy however because later on we probably are going to need some sword skills when we are fighting the last boss but the creme de la creme the Frostnir. But this thing right here is the first thing that we are going to make, which is a new bow that has both pierce and poison resistance. Now, poison resistance isn't the best thing against Motor, the new Forsaken boss that we are going to fight. I do believe that fire is its weakness, but the damage plus the poison is a nice addition. And then we definitely want to make the wolf fur cape. It won't give us more armor, but it will give us the frost resistance that we need. And I mean, on top of it, it looks quite cool, okay? At, at least in my opinion. Right, let's craft the cape, because we do have enough materials for it. Ooh, this is going to be good. It only gives one armor compared to our cloak, which is three armor. But let's face it, two armor or less is not going to make it or break it. So we're definitely changing the cape just to get the frost resistance buff. Okay, on the root armor, it doesn't look good at all. But I mean, overall, I just like that we finally have a long cape. I don't know, it's... I've always enjoyed that. I mean, on this armor here, the iron, if you're wearing this cape, it looks awesome. We have 24 silver right now, but the question is, how much do we need? Oh, we need 20. We have enough. What about the ancient bark, though? We have 25 ancient bark, so I think that would be enough. It was only 10, if I remember correctly. And we probably need 10 or 20 of this stuff as well, so I think we have enough. All right, let's craft the bow. Nice, just look at it, and it's glowing, so you know it's epic. Now with the remaining silver, I do think it is very important that we get the butcher's table so we can upgrade our cooking station. And with the upgraded cooking station, we will be able to craft even better food so we can get more stamina and a little bit more health. I guess I'll just place it here because if it wasn't for the meat chest, which I'll probably have to move and place it over there, I won't be able to place down the oven and the last upgrade over here. Yes, I've made this kitchen type many times 10 wood and now we need a little bit of stone because then we can actually build the stone cutter i'll just place it out here it doesn't really matter and now we can make the half instead of 
what we have going on here. And then we'll place the half in here. And then we'll also be placing the cooking station above it. Hopefully this will work. Okay, so the fire is now active. Let's see if we can actually use it for cooking. We can indeed. Awesome. Sometimes, depending on where the crafting station is above the fire, it won't allow it to cook because it says, I need a fire. Which is kind of weird sometimes. But it is what it is. That's why I always check before I leave it, thinking that everything is fine. But yeah. And now let's remove a little bit of the floor. There we go. I think this makes much more sense to everyone having a stone floor rather than a wooden floor when we have all this fire in the kitchen. I mean, we still have almost everything made out of wood, but it is what it is. We are Vikings after all. I never said we were smart. Just practical. Now the next objective is probably to find the location of the dragon. And I really hope it will be on one of these two mountains. 